The most exciting part about being a principal is when I see kids at this school make choices to go outside to recess and practice their instrument instead of running around and playing. And so I think music has a very special place here at Kip West Philadelphia Prep. I play the cello. It's a very difficult instrument. I do love this school. The education here helps you open other opportunities up, like with music, with art, with science, with social studies. If I didn't have music in school, that it wouldn't be such an interesting school day for me. Our music program is very unique because they have to play an instrument in fifth and sixth grade. It is mandatory. We have 360 students in our school. So if you were to walk around our school, you could ask any student what instrument they play and they will tell you an instrument. You guys are doing okay with this. Let's try it again. Play everything a little bit shorter. One, two, ready, and. A lot of them do not feel comfortable playing because it is something unknown and it is something that's difficult. And that's something that's really, really tricky to try and overcome. And once they can play one thing on their instrument, we got them. So all I do is try to pick out those little small wins. Hey, you held your bow correctly today. That was a win. You couldn't do it when you walked in here. Now you can do it when you're walking out. I feel like music has helped me grow, like be more disciplined because I used to be a little all over, um, be more organized and be like true to myself. It's amazing. It's amazing to see him come from fifth grade just making noise <laughs> to now he's playing all kinds of stuff. It's, it's really amazing. The entire school plays, meaning all the parents have something in common too. They all have one thing in common, their children play an instrument. I try to make sure they have everything they need from being able to be confident, being able to be on time, knowing how to act in different spaces, just all these social things that are really important for them to be able to, you know, to learn that they might not get at home or they might not get in their community. They're gonna get it here in this room. Music education is extremely important. It's something that helps kids become who they are. You don't have to play instrument forever, but this environment that they have it is, is essential. I'm just gonna talk real now, okay? Um, some students' parents are incarcerated. Some students don't have a place to live. They are in this rehearsal 745 every single day. You won't even know who's having problems at home because they're here at 745 every single day, focused, ready to play. Music centers some of our kids. It is a, a happy place for them. Core to the mission of the Philadelphia Orchestra is music education because we understand that we have a responsibility to develop and cultivate the next generation of musicians and audiences. One of the ways we do this is in partnership with Kip West through the School Ensemble Program. The School Ensemble Program started as a strings program and has grown beyond our wildest dreams. We fund everything that happens through this program because we are proving that when you invest time and resources into instrument ensemble-based music education, the rewards are endless. The school ensemble program is amazing. It is a dream come true, seriously. Not just for me, but just for all the students and not just the school, but our community outside of the walls. Without the Philadelphia Orchestra, this school would not have the joy that it has. The Philadelphia Orchestra believes in the power of community. And as our music director, Yannick leads us in that work. He is just an amazing person who understands that music education is important. Yannick's prominence in classical music does not keep him from visiting a school and students in Southwest Philadelphia. He spent time not only working with our musicians at Kip West, but just talking to them and understanding who they are as people and as musicians. I really think that they had as much fun as he did. Hi. 
concert master. Hi. Hi. Well, how are you? Good. Yeah? Excited? Yeah. Yeah? That's fun. Look who's here. Joe is the best. Joe is just the best. And did you know he just won the position of principal bass at the orchestra? Yay. Do you know how great this man is too? Yay, Danny. So we can start at 18 and go to Coda. Fine? 18. One, two. Yeah, yeah, great. So let's do it. So we can go a little faster. And as a musician, whether I play the piano or whether I conduct, I try to always remember what's the mood of that music. And then I try to convey it by my face, by my gestures. And we can't skip steps, you know, in music. That's the thing. You have to learn your own part. Then you have to learn how it fits with the others. You have to learn how to do it with the conductor. And you have to remember what the purpose is and the purpose is to give something an emotion a reflection a dream something like that if we don't feel it inside us it's never going to reach the audience so the first three chords i feel like it should be the full bow like you do Yum, bam, bam. can we try that just the first three chords just the strings for the moment okay <gasps> That's great. You know, because if you do, uh, 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 it's, it's, try it with just a little bow, okay? So, right? It doesn't sound as good, right? So, I don't know many symphonies that I conduct often that are more joyful than this one. So, you know, let's bring each and every one of you, bring that joy and see how it is when you play it, okay? Let's try it again with joy and a smile. I was not ready for something that beautiful, really. I was like, this is, this is difficult music. And I know you guys are good, but you know, usually you first do the same first time and some people miss the entrance or something. Wow, this is awesome. I think you should applaud yourselves first, you know, first. So, if we love music, it's because we love adventure. If you are here, it's because you love to be a better version of yourself every day. Because music is a never-ending thing. It's frustrating at times, because you're like, oh, am I ever gonna get good at playing that page or playing that bar? And to welcome the unexpected in our lives 
is I think maybe one of the best things about being an artist and a musician. You have to accept that adventure is part of it.
what you are doing and the joy and the talent and the attention to detail that you bring to your art is what makes me uh, looking with hope at the future of this art form that I love so much. Yeah. <laughs> Yay, Kip West! Yay, Kip West! It, it was intimidating at first because he is the conductor of the Philadelphia Orchestra. Like at first it was like, oh my God, Yannick's here. And then after a while when he started cracking jokes and trying to get familiar with us, because he probably knew some of us were like a little tense. He wanted to loosen us up and get to know us. Having maestro Yannick really made a difference. What he said to the students, you could tell it did something to our music department. It put a fire underneath us. If you walk through the hallway, oh you, go, you can walk God. through the hallway and just ask them. The Come most here. beautiful yes. things. Thank you um, for coming. So you know, we, we're, we're here to stay. Okay. okay? Thank and you. you're here to stay? Yes, I am. Great. Yes, I am. Deal. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you.